Oh, shoot. Over rotate. <laughs> Okay. Again. <laughs> Three, go. Hi, everyone. Oh, shoot. Again. Okay. One more time. One more okay. time. Let's okay. Got it this time. All right. So welcome to another episode of Your Math Class. In this episode, we're going to take a look at odds. Odds in favor and odds against. Let's start by looking at the definition of odds in favor of an event. So let's say odds in favor of an event, let's just call it A. So that would be the number of faves compared to the number unfaves. I like it. So the number that we have for event A compared to the number that are not event A. OK, cool. So what would be odds against? Well, the odds against would be, like, so I'll say against A, OK? Would be, well, it would be the, the reverse of that ratio, right? So it would be the number of outcomes that are unfavorable, or the unfaves to event A, compared to the number of outcomes that are favorable to A, or we'll call that the faves. Sounds good. Let's calculate the odds in favor of selecting a pink marble, assuming that we're just going to reach into this jar and randomly select one marble. Right, so what are the odds in favor of selecting a pink marble? Right, so that would, that would be the number of pink marbles that are in that container. The favorable outcomes. Compared to the ones that are not pink. So I'm literally just going to count how many of these things are pink. One, two, three, four, five, six marbles that are pink compared to one, two, three that are not pink. And we could simplify that. We can. Divide by three on both, for both the six and the three, two compared to one. Right. And so notice the, uh, the way that we uh, report odds, right? It's, it, is, it is a ratio, as a fraction would be a ratio, but we're not reporting it as a fraction, we're reporting it as a, as a ratio with a colon in between. So the odds against A would be, um, well, since I have the odds in favor, I can just write it in reverse order, right? So instead of six to three, to three to six, right? But if I didn't have the option of you know, piggybacking off of the odds in favor, then I would just do the same thing that Dana did, which is go in here and count, first of all, the unfavorable events. So uh, we're going a number of not pink, OK? And that would be three, versus the number of pink and that would be six. That's a little spread out there, but here we go. So then I can reduce that, and that becomes uh, one to two. Excellent. So we will see you in our next video. Bye. See you. Hey, hey guys. guys. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you liked it. And even if you didn't, please hit subscribe. And watch our other videos. See you soon.